We all know that breast milk is the best source of nutrition for infants. However, when this is not available, infant formula can be used. Fat is an important component of infant formula. It delivers about 50% of the energy for infants. Fat is also necessary for cell membrane development and it carries fat-soluble vitamins and other minor components through the body. Fat in milk is present in droplets, inside which triglycerides are present. Triglycerides consist of a glycerol backbone with three fatty acids attached to it. The three different positions on the backbone are called SN1, SN2 and SN3. Fatty acids can have different lengths. We divide them into three different groups. Short chain fatty acids, medium chain fatty acids and long chain fatty acids. Fat can also be divided into saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. Digestion of fat happens by enzymes in the stomach and in the small intestine. During digestion, fatty acids on the SN1 and SN3 position are being cut off from the backbone. The fatty acids at the SN2 position remain connected. This is called a monoglyceride. So the digestion of fat results in two free fatty acids and one monoglyceride. After digestion, the short and medium chain fatty acids can be easily absorbed. Cut off long chain fatty acids remain present in the gut for a longer time and are absorbed in a different way. Long chain saturated fatty acids are able to bind to calcium, which forms an indigestible complex. This can lead to problems like hard stools and discomfort like constipation, cramps or bloating. When long chain saturated fatty acids are at the SN2 position and stay attached to the glycerol backbone, they are not able to bind to calcium. This results in better absorption of the fat and calcium and fewer problems. Therefore, the positioning of long chain saturated fatty acids at the glycerol backbone is of importance. In infant formula, vegetable fat is used. Although all the required fatty acids are present, the fat structure of vegetable fat is unfavorable. Since the long chain UFAs are mainly positioned at the SN1 and SN3 position, in human milk, long chain saturated fatty acids are mainly present at the SN2 position. In vegetable fat, at the SN1 and SN3 positions, unless a synthesized fat source is used, called OPO. Cow milk fat does have a favorable structure with most long chain saturated fatty acids on the SN2 position. So, for the best lipid mixture for infant nutrition, the fat composition and the structure are of importance. Cow's milk fat enables to compose an optimal fat component for infant formula. It has a favorable triglyceride structure for digestion and absorption, a wide variety of fatty acids, and it naturally contains fat-soluble vitamins and other minor components.